Today's Operator Showcase is on Doberman. Let's explore all the things that you need to know about her and conclude with whether or not you should be building her in your account. Kere, Bolivar Kokumin Kebi Tai Kyokan, Doberman. Sasokuda got Tanto Chakunu Niko. Mazua, Kunden got Hitsiona Mononoristo, Misetakre. We begin off with Doberman's background. So Doberman is considered an instructor uh, by the community. We like to call it in simpler terms. We call these operators support guards like Sui Slash and Palas. Uh, in terms of the text that you see here, she has DPS and support. So that even more validates the fact that she's a support guard. Uh, in terms of her base stats, it's nothing all too amazing. The kind of pretty average across all of the operators. There isn't any stat that is amazingly high and none of them are also disastrously low. Decent enough defense, decent enough attack, and okay health as well. So that tells us that we really need to explore more into the other parts of her, being her skills, her talents, and her traits. So let's talk about her trait, her talent, and her skill one in a singular showcase for the start of the video. To explain more about Doberman, I'm going to be using stage 112 to showcase her. So let me place my operators first. I'm going to place Cruise in, and then I'm going to place my Spot. So the moment I can put Doberman down, let me then start the talking here. So Doberman is almost ready, 13 DP, quite a cheap enough cost. So let's read her trait as we see here. It states that she can attack enemies from range, and when attacking enemies not blocked by herself, it increases her attack to 120%. So this is a very new trait that was given to support guards. Uh, it's kind of a few months before I started posting this video. At first, support guards only had the trait that says can attack enemies from range. They didn't have the attack increase before. But now that there is that, uh, it makes them a little bit more viable of operators to bring into the stage, which I like it a lot. Uh, it's very impactful on maybe say the 6-star guard herself like Palas. Uh, if let's say you're a Swire lover, Reslash lover, or even a Doberman lover, this is a nice upgrade uh, that's given to these operators of your liking. Let me just place uh, Cardigan in as well. So I want you to also take notice that if I believe right now, if I place Cardigan in, if you saw Cardigan's attack, it was actually 305 before. But when I've dropped her in, it has increased to 339. So there's a bit of an increased effect that's going on. And why is there a change in her attack? It's because of Doberman. So when you deploy Doberman into a stage, all three star operators will gain 10% additional attack if you have her at, that's at Elite 2. So if you have her at Elite 1, it'll be 5% increase in attack for only 3 star operators, by the way. So all other operators unaffected. So this becomes a very interesting talent that you could use if let's say you're a 3 star centric player. Uh, if let's say you don't really use 3 stars all that much, then the use case of Doberman will become much less apparent. Uh, in terms of her skill, it's also not something that is exactly too amazing. Her first skill states that it increases the attack of her next attack uh, to 200%. And this is a offensive recovery skill. So it takes four hits and then the fifth hit will become the hard hitting one. So it's not too much of anything to compliment about because many other operators have offensive recovery skills. Even the operator to our right right now like Cruz. Cruz also, have a, sorry, Cruz also has an offensive recovery skill and it also takes four SP like Doberman. But yet, Cruz has a bigger range than Doberman. Uh, it allows her to... She also has a bit of a better attack speed. And uh, the amount of damage that she gives onto the enemies is also kind of equivalent to Doberman as well. And even if we don't talk about Cruz, we talk about other operators that could be similar. People might compare uh, support guards to, say, specialist pullers because they have the same range, right? Uh, people might also compare them to range guards. And then they'll say... Why would I build a support guard if these roles can perform, like basically fill the same shoes? Uh, I agree with that idea that they might do something a little bit similar, but of course, the it's in the naming of the branch. They are support for a reason. The dead, they're not there exactly to do damage onto people. They provide some additional damage, but their main role is to buff uh, your allies, which in this case, she's buffing the three stars. So, if we talk about some of the future support guards in future videos like uh, Wee Slash and Swire, uh, their use case might be a little bit more apparent, but in this case where we're using Doberman and she only helps out with the 3 stars, y'all might not feel the impact as strongly as before. So, 
Uh, that's just that for her trait, her talent, and her skill 1. Let's explore more about her kit by looking at her skill 2 as well. Right, the current stage that I'm showing you guys is TW8. This is the stage that has Mudrock as the boss. So I'm using Doberman's skill 2 right now in the stage, along with a full 3-star squad because she passed 3 stars after all. So I'm going to do a bit of a comparison between her skill 2 and her skill 1 later on. There will be a side-by-side -side clip, so the left side is going to showcase what happens uh, later in the stage uh, with Doberman on skill 2, and then the right side will show you what happens when we use Doberman skill 1. All right? That's really what Doberman skill 2 do for me to even want to make the comparison in the first place. Her skill 2 states that attack increases by 50%, all right? so that's on herself. And her talent that provides buffs for the 3 stars will become 2.7 times more effective. So this means to say that, for example, right now, she's buffing the 3 stars for 10% attack. With that 2.7 times increase, the 3 stars will get 27% more attack instead uh, when her skill is turned on. So this could be very good when you really want to supersize the 3 stars that you have in your squad. We'll see how that is effective in a little bit as soon as Mudrock comes out to play, right? So it's nice that all of the 3 stars get some increased damage already without her skill turned on, but it becomes even more significant when the skill is up. So let's see that coming into use. We're going to use a bunch of bodies to kind of hold Mudrock in place here. So I'm going to place my operators in. It's fine if they go down. You just need to block uh, Mudrock as much as possible. And there she goes. She blows off one tower. So I'm going to activate all the skills of the operators on the left side that you see there. And then you compare what happens when I use it with a skill 1 instead. Alright. So let's go ahead. Let's activate the skills. Even Doberman skill as well. So if you look at that comparison clip that I'm showing right now. Midnight and Steward has so much more attack because of the increase that Doberman provides. And that is significant for this stage. You know, we really want to give that sort of buff so that uh, we ensure that the uh, enemies are eliminated in a sense. So let me just uh, play some of the other units that is important over here to ensure that this goes well. Uh, I'm going to be placing a slower right here and then I'll place another Vanguard here. So just like that, Marok is taken out and then even the uh, enemies that's on the left over here, I can also remove them just like that as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to hold this guy back because he's kind of getting into the zone already. I'm not sure if I have enough time to kill the golem as well. I think I do. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not, but it's okay. So I'll probably need another body on the right then. I could have just placed my midnight over there. Yeah, but in any case, just like that, you can see how in that right clip, you know, the defenses were overwhelmed. And as compared to the left clip, uh, the defenses were not as overwhelmed. Uh, Midnight, Doberman, and Stewart all combined, they try their best to really kill out most of the enemies over there. So there's a much slower pace, uh, pace of the enemies breaching the defenses. So that is the benefit that Doberman skill to provide. Even though it sounds cool that she provides uh, even more attack onto your allies, the three stars that is, but I do find many problems with it. First off is that the SP requirement of a skill 2 is really high. If you look over there, it states that it takes 74 SP. And that's not a nice thing at all. If you want that sort of increased damage, you want it as uh, often as possible and as long as possible. And the skill being only 25 second duration is also not very impressive. And the other thing that's really bothersome is the fact that she only buffs 3 stars. If she also buffs 4 stars, I can imagine her being even more impactful than what she is. But with the fact that she only uh, helps out with the lower rarity squad, it's not going to be someone that is very often used in the stage. So it really begs the question of should you be building Doberman then? Uh, we should probably look at one more part because some people might say maybe the redeeming factor is on her module, for instance. So let me show you her module. Can someone tell me who thought this was a good idea to, to give Doberman this strange module? If you don't know what's going on right now, support guards cannot be deployed on range tile. But for Doberman's module, if you unlock it, while it gives her increased attack, it also gives her the ability to be deployable on range tiles. 
But that doesn't mean she can attack drones. She can't attack drones, she can still attack melee enemies like you see over there. But why? Like, I don't understand why this is a good idea at all. I don't know if the creator of Double Man, like the, the game uh, designer of her, thought this was going to be amazing in some way. Maybe there's a particular stage where this was supposed to be useful, but I really don't see the point of it. So, in terms of the module, it's not going to be the most amazing thing out there in the world. Uh, there are so many other modules that I have to give praise to, but in terms of uh, if I had to do like a module tier list ranking, this is definitely not there. I, I don't see how this is going to shake things up in the game. If this is appliable to maybe some of the other support guards actually, like let's say Palace is deployable on ranged tiles, uh, maybe even Wii Slash is deployable on ranged tiles, I could see that being something that is like quite impactful. But in this case, not really for Doberman. Doberman didn't really need it. I feel like Doberman needed a module that stated that her skill 2 or her talent is appliable to 4 stars. If her talent is appliable to 4 stars, that is game changing. But the very big problem right now is the fact that it's limited to 3 stars. So let's make a whole assessment uh, about Do Do Sorry, let's make a whole assessment about Doberman as to whether or not you should be building her. So, the verdict of Doberman as to whether or not you should build her. My direct answer would be no, you don't have to build Doberman. Uh, if you have just started the game and you're like, oh, this starts, uh, this kind of helps a lot of 3 stars, then uh, no, you don't really need her. You can just make do with your 3 stars only and then build some of the other 4 stars that are even more impactful. Uh, if you like her character, of course, you love the way that she looks, you love her skin because for me, I do really like her skin. I think her skin is very pretty. It really outlines who she is as a person. Person. Uh, if you have that sort of reason, you love her as a character, then for sure, always build operators that you want to enjoy in the game. Um, she is more of a character basically for fun purposes. Like if you are a 3 star only player and you want the ability to buff them, sure, go ahead. But I find that there's too much limitations in terms of her skills. It does need some a bit, uh, it, it needs a bit of rework basically, uh, especially on the skill 2 and the talent. If this was used to buff 4 stars, she will be a very talked about character. But it's simply because that she doesn't that it kind of puts her in the backlog of uh, even some of the 4 star only players. They don't really use Doberman all that much in their account. So that is to say here, hopefully this video is able to give some credit to Doberman to let you see how she changes up the squad a little. And then yeah, that's basically the entire showcase over here. Not all showcases of mine is always going to paint uh, operators in the most positive of light because if there are weaknesses, I will have to show them. Anyways, that's all for my video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I shall see you guys in the next operator showcase. Bye bye to all of you.